This is a tutorial on if statements in Python. So come to the course website at Chemical Engineering 263. Um, APMonitor.com is the website. And then go down to, in this case, the homework. And we're going to be doing homework assignment number 7. Okay, and so there's some conditionals and uh, functions here. So I'm going to move this off to the side while we uh, work on it. Um, okay, so here are um, you know some conditionals. X is uh, given below negative 10. We just want to print out if it's going to be um, you know zero, positive, or negative. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the uh, Jupyter uh, notebook. Okay, and then when this runs, it's going to open up a web browser. All right, and I'll just move it right over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a new Python 3 notebook. You can also do this in Python 2 as well. Okay, so x equals negative 10. And uh, you can just hit, uh, if you hit enter, it won't evaluate it. It'll let you put in uh, some more lines there. Um, if you hit control enter, then it will evaluate it. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just do an if statement. So if um, x is equal to 0, Okay, you put a double equal sign to compare that, um, and then we're going to go ahead and print. Don't forget the uh, quote or the um, parentheses there, and then x is zero, and and then if you hit the backspace there, it'll auto auto indent for you. Okay, then we're going to do an else if. Okay, and we want to evaluate another expression here. X is greater than zero, then we'll print that. Um, you can do single quotes or double quotes. X is positive. Okay, and then a final one, else, and then we'll print um, X is negative. Okay, so uh, based on this, we're going to get X is negative. If I come back up here and change that to 10, I'm going to say positive, and then if it's 0, okay, so there's our, um, there's our first if statement. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and insert a cell below. Okay, so this is going to be my my next one that I'm going to evaluate. The uh, so I have y and or x and y are given below. Okay, let's just go ahead and type those in. X equals um, x equals negative uh, four. Okay, negative four, and then y equals three point two. Okay, write an if statement that will print whether x and y are both positive or both negative, or if one or both are zero. Okay, so now we have uh, basically two conditions that we want to evaluate. Um, so in this case, we just need to uh, write the and here. Okay, so if uh, x is greater than zero and y is greater than zero, okay, and then uh, we're just going to print uh, both are positive okay and we'll do an else if okay x is less than zero um, I'll do less than zero and y is less than zero okay then print uh, both are negative and the final case the else is going to cover the where one or, or uh, just one of them is is negative um, and then we'll go ahead and print, um, let's see, uh, 1 is, um, 1 r is negative, okay, or um, 0. Okay, um, Let's see. I try. Let's see. I've got negative one is negative uh, positive. Okay, or zero. I think I've got that right. Okay, so let's test that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and evaluate this with four. Okay, both are positive, and then let's do the both are negative. Okay, so we've covered all of them. Uh, let's go ahead and do zero. Okay, so there I've got uh, one is negative or positive or zero. Okay, and then let's go on to the next one now. Let's go ahead and insert another cell uh, below. And we have write a single line if statement that will evaluate y is uh, equal to one over x um, if x is not zero. If x is zero, then uh, y equals zero. Okay, so 
Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, so we'll do um, y equals 1 over x. And then this is just kind of a Python uh, version. Okay, if uh, x is not equal to 0, uh, else uh, 0. Okay, and let's go ahead and just uh, evaluate this one. Okay, so I have y equals 1 over x. Okay, I'll put, I'll put it 1, 1 1.0 divided by x. If x is uh, not equal to 0, else this is going to be equal to uh, 0. Okay. Okay, um, and when I evaluate that, it looks like it isn't coming up with anything. Okay, let's see if the... Um, Let's do Python 3 uh, not equal. Okay, so let's see if we can come up with that. Okay, so equal is, uh, so we got, we did that right. Uh, let's see if we got anything to happen. Looks like for whatever reason we've crashed our kernel. Let's just restart this. Okay, we'll restart the kernel and just see and then I'm going to then uh, restart and run all. Actually, I'll do that one instead. Okay, let me see if I can do this one again. Okay, oh, you know what? I didn't print anything. That's why I'm not uh, getting this to run. Okay, so let me go kernel and then restart uh, and run all again. And then I've got a negative uh, 2.25. Uh, okay, let me just go ahead and change that. Y equals 0. Uh, let me go ahead and run that, or actually x equals 0, okay, and then it's going to be equal to 0. If I didn't have that, if I put a comment in there, um, then it's going to be a division by 0 error, okay, so we're going to catch that. If it's equal to 0, then, um, you know, we're going to go ahead and um, catch that and then uh, say else equals 0. Another way to do that, okay, uh, is you can also say, tr let's try this. Okay, and then if it doesn't work, then we're going to do something else. Okay, so we can do else y equals zero. Okay, and then, um, oh, um, except, not else. Okay, try except. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try this line, and if it doesn't work, then we'll do what's in the except. Um, area uh, uh, here, but if you want to condense this down to just one line, then uh, you can just use this um, this one if statement um, that trails the evaluation. Okay, so it's, it's kind of a condensed way of writing an if statement. Okay, so um, let's do the last one now. Okay, so ideal gas. Make this just a little bit bigger. Uh, for this one, ideal gas is an approximation. There's only a good approximation under certain circumstances. The general rule of thumb is when the specific volume is greater than 5 liters per mole for diatomic, okay, so that's uh, where you have two atoms um, in, uh, for a diatomic gas, um, and 20 liters per mole uh, for all other gases. Okay, so the specific volume of uh, V hat is V divided by N. Okay, so, so we want to write an if statement that will print the specific volume of O2 and state whether or not the ideal gas law is a good approximation. So O2 is a diatomic gas. Okay, and then um, let me go ahead and just add, uh, let's see, um, I'll insert a cell below. So we'll go ahead and work on this one now. Um, so we have uh, just a little bit of data from this one. Okay, I'll make it a little bit smaller so we can see it. Uh, temperature equals 600. Okay, and then pressure is 15. R is 0 0.08206. Okay, that's the universal gas constant. The gas is going to be diatomic. Okay, and then V hat um, is going to be R times T divided by P. Okay, now if you're in um, <clears throat> Python 2.7, don't forget the, the dot zero, so you don't do a divide by uh, integer uh, problem there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and print 
uh, the specific volume. Okay, so this is our uh, V hat, and I'll use the, uh, I'll make it a float. Okay, so I'm going to insert a space holder for the float. Okay, and then I'll put liters per mole, and then put my float here. Okay, and um, let's see, we'll do uh, v, uh, v hat there. Let's just run this. Okay, let's see what I, I do. Oh, you know, I need to do, uh, instead of that, I'll just put that in front in, uh, instead. Okay, then it's going to insert this uh, V hat into here. Another way to do that, just to print strings, is um, we can just add this in as uh, V hat. Okay, and let me delete that. Okay, so delete one of those. Okay, then you can add uh, the strings together, but you need you can't add a number to a string. So you just need to make that into a string as well. You can add strings together. Okay, so I just added that together. If you want to get that space back in there, you just put a space right there. You get the same thing that you had before. Okay, so we've printed that out. That's going to be our um, specific volume, but let's go ahead and create an if statement now. Okay, I'll go ahead and insert a cell below. Okay, so we'll do if the gas is equal to diatomic. Okay, then we're going to say, um, have a nested if loop here. So we're going to evaluate another if statement as greater than uh, five. Then we'll print um, ideal gas is good. Okay, ideal gas law. Okay, that was, that's going to be good. Um, and then we'll do else uh, print uh, ideal gas law isn't good. Okay, isn't. Okay, so I, I think I need to do uh, double quotes here. Law isn't good. Okay, okay, so now I've got um, my diatomic gas, but let's say I have other types of gases I want to evaluate. I put an else here. And then I can just copy these right here. And then this case, it's going to be greater than 20. Then it'll print it out. Okay. And if I just scroll down, I see that the ideal gas law isn't good. Okay. So V hat, um, I have my V hat there. Um, I, I would need to be greater than 5, but that's equal to 3.28 instead. Okay. So. Um, so it's not a good approximation. Um, okay, so just a couple things that we did then. We covered some if statements. Um, you know, the else if, don't forget about that as well. It's E-L-I-F. Uh, don't forget about the colons right here, just to say that that's, that's the thing that I'm going to be evaluating. Okay, um, uh, it's going to be below, and then you have to, you need to indent it. Okay, so Python works by indentation is uh, very important. Uh, you can also have uh, double conditions. You can put an or here, okay, um, or an and, or you can also do, for example, not, okay. Um, you know, things like that, these, uh, these operators that allow you to compare things and combine them. Uh, you can have uh, kind of a one line thing where it, it'll It'll be uh, y is 1 divided by x if x is not equal to 0, else um, y is going to be equal to 0. Okay, and then we just printed y. We also used the try except. And then we did this uh, you know, simple problem with the ideal uh, gas law as well. Okay, and just printed out whether the ideal gas law was a good approximation or not. Okay, so that uh, concludes this uh, tutorial. We'll also do uh, the remainder of these, I'll post the solution videos here. You can also download uh, the files right here, the IPython notebook. If you just want to start with uh, these problems, a template for these problems, you can do that um, and then get going. If you haven't installed uh, Python and you're getting stuck, you can also come to try.jupyter.org and that will give you an IPython a notebook as well. Okay, so if you don't have anything installed yet, you can just jump right in uh, to the Jupyter Notebook here at this address.